Members of the Afghan government, soldiers of the 302nd Military Police Company, and the 48th Infantry Brigade Combat Team celebrate the exchanging of ownership of what was originally known as Camp Phoenix. There's several departments of the Ministry of Interior that will come here and take over. They may even have some of the Ministry of Defense and, and some of the other ministry offices here once it's all said and done. We've spent the last couple months coordinating with them and then the last couple weeks working with them to show them the infrastructure, how everything worked, the force protection and security piece, you know, what they need to do to, to secure the place. And today already we have uh, received to the Phoenix and uh, this is already for us is a good day and uh, our all departments so happy. Retire the color. The two groups of soldiers will be the last U.S. soldiers to leave this camp. The soldiers draw down the U.S. flag for the last time as representatives from MOI watch the folding of the flag, initiating their departure, and the raising of the Afghan flag to fly solo, signifying the independence the Afghan government has over their newly acquired land. It's the day that we transfer a super piece of property back to the people of Afghanistan. In the future, we have a good plan from this area. As the final pictures are taken to remember the significant occasion, the soldiers head off to catch their flights and say goodbye to the base they have been at since January. It's a pretty proud day for us. Uh, it's an emotional day. We put a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears into this. A lot of tears shed to get to where we are today, so we're, we're happy to be leaving. Reporting from Kabul, Afghanistan, I'm Staff Sergeant Christie, Dispanet.